Hi fellow Muppet fans, Ryan from Tough Pigs here. You know, there are times when I lament the fact that there were some pieces of Muppet merchandise that I have never owned. Um, things that are cool that I would like to have had but I never had in my personal collection. You may have seen an article series on the Tough Pigs website that I've done called Cool Muppet Things I Never Owned. But, you know, there are also a lot of cool Muppet things that I have owned, so I should be happy about that instead of complaining about the things that I never owned, right? So one of these is something that I recently pulled out of uh, a, a dark closet somewhere, and that is this Kermit telephone. There he is. You can see, you see his eyeballs? Yeah, you, you see him. Um, so this is a very cool thing. Muppet Wiki tells me that this was released by Teledynamics in 1996. I got it a few years after that. I believe this was a Christmas present. Um, it's a candlestick style phone, which is very old-fashioned. You would expect to see this in a movie from the 1930s or, or something, or maybe they're even older than that. I don't know. Somebody who is expert an expert on phones from the 1930s, please tell me if I'm correct about that. Now, you would think that this old-fashioned setup is is very uh, good to have. However, one thing that I found when you're talking on this phone, this goes on your ear, you talk in here, that means both of your hands are occupied at the same time. So we didn't have smartphones back then, so it's not like I was on the phone with somebody or, you know, tablets. It's not like I was on the phone with somebody scrolling through Reddit or Twitter or whatever, but the fact that I had to talk with both hands meant that my hands were not free to do any other distracting activity while I'm talking on this phone. So I had to actually listen to what the person on the other end was saying. Can you believe it? So unfortunately, this phone, last time I tried connecting it to a landline, did not work. Uh, you know, these days, not so many people use a landline. Maybe there's some way I could uh, you know, get somebody's help to rig this to connect to my computer so I could use this as a microphone for my computer. I don't know, there's probably a way to do that. But uh, as of now, it's, you know, doesn't really work as a phone, just sort of a conversation piece. And uh, I could use it as a paperweight, I guess. I could use it to hold down if I'm reading a Muppet comic book or something. Um, I can tell you, however, that it complies with Part 68 FCC rules, so that's very good to know. Um, I'll show you the, uh, the buttons. It looks like a, an old-fashioned dial telephone, but fortunately, these are buttons that you can press, so I didn't have to wait for it to go... That's my impression of an old dial telephone. A rotary phone, that's what it's called. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's neat. See, you can, you can move Kermit's... Oh look, you can go, yay! Look, he's still on the Muppet Show. Man, I'm really bad at moving things on a camera with a little display that's backwards. I would be so bad at being a Muppet performer looking at a monitor. Anyway, the other thing about this phone is that once, when I was in high school, I got a call from my then-girlfriend on this phone. I was talking to her. But then it turned out that the reason she was calling was to break up with me. So it was a very emotional conversation. It was very sad. But then I thought about it and I went, wait a minute, I'm having this emotional, fraught conversation and I'm talking into a frog's mouth. So that actually made the breakup a little easier to take. So for that, I would like to thank my Kermit phone, and I would like to thank Kermit the Frog himself for just making life easier and uh, a little bit um, nicer to to tolerate some of the bad times. So if you whoa, if you have any suggestions on what I should do with my no longer functioning uh, Kermit phone, please let me know. Otherwise, in the meantime, I mean, I guess I could just use it to pretend to have conversations like. Uh, hello. Hi. Yeah. Oh, no, I understand it's confusing, but actually Waldorf is on the left and Statler is on the right. Yeah, pff, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, otherwise, this is 
a cool Muppet thing that I own. Thank you. Phone call for Kermit the Frog. You Kermit the Frog? Yeah. Phone. Uh, uh, hello? Hi Kermit, I'm calling you on a phone that looks like your head.